am Laura Lex and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. So, welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here. Thank you for having me, thank you. It's my pleasure. Now we are at a V Festival today. I've just watched you perform on stage. Yes, thank you for doing that, by the way. You doubled the audience numbers for... <laughs> uh, that's just, I'm not that fat. It's just, there wasn't that many people. There was about 100 people there. I was not 50 of them. But I must say, you, you were hilarious to the point where I regretted not having my waterproof makeup on. Huh. This side was leaking. Oh, well, that's great. That's good. You never quite know how festivals are going to go. And today was really fun. Really, really fun. So you've, um, you've performed here and you performed yesterday as well at the other place? Yeah, I was at Stafford last night. It was uh, a bit harder at Stafford, I'd say, but maybe the, uh, mid-afternoon is when you go, oh God, I've been at a festival for three days. Now, how did you first get into comedy? What drew you to it? Um, I went to university to do radio production and they stopped doing radio production when I got there. And I went, oh! I did comedy instead, and that was how it happened. It's always a very good thing to do. Now, I hear or have read that you've also written two plays and a book already. Yes, none of which have been published, so don't look for them, but I've written them, yeah. Um, no, I have written a book, uh, which I'm about to turn into an audio series as a podcast, so you can look out for that. And a couple of plays, yeah, I'm also working on a TV series at the moment, so. And uh, can you say anything about that? Would it be comedy based or something different? Yeah, kind of comedy drama. Um, not a sitcom, but more of a kind of midlife comedy um, look at what the fuck happens to women after the age of 50. And it, will, it, will it be human women or a lion women? Like in, uh, I know you love a good documentary. I love a documentary. It will be human women, unless acting costs soar and then I could do it nature. You could. Yeah. You've got the vocal ring. You can do the accents. So. I can do three accents. Do three accents. <laughs> Two of them offensive. Exactly. I don't know what any of mine are. I just, they're sort of, they merge in, they start like Norwegian, then they go Welsh, then a bit Jamaican, and I just, <laughs> it's, it feels like I've travelled around a lot when I do an accent. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the trick to a good accent, though, is it's inclusive of everybody listening, assumes it's their accent. Exactly. Now, did you once support Russell Kane? I did. Twice, in fact. Ha ha! Yes, I supported Russell Kane on, ooh, I can't remember what the tour was called, but he's a lovely man. Exactly. Now, your last tour, your last show, it was called Tyrannosaurus Lex, which was at Ed Fringe last year. Are you uh, still touring with that? Are you working on something new? Tell me what's going on. I'm working on something new now. Um, I'm working on a show called Live, which will be uh, at festivals from next year onwards, from January onwards. Um, it kind of picks up where Tyrannosaurus left off. So Tyrannosaurus Lex looked at uh, first like year of marriage and, and moving forward. And then Liv is going to look at uh, mental health and progress into middle age sounds fast fantastic so will you be sort of um, doing some warm-up gigs and all that kind of thing this year to sort of test the material so people can come and find you absolutely yeah I'll be um, all over the usual places I'll probably be looking at doing uh, if we know where you are yeah um, check my website I try and keep updated with where I'll be but this, for the easiest way if you have any interest in knowing where I am is look on Twitter and I will be being bitchy and cynical about where I am now, as a comedian, what or who makes you laugh? Who are your comedic inspirations? Uh, Eddie Izzard is the ultimate for me. Um, on the circuit nowadays, I probably Zoe Lyons just always knows how to make me think. How have you thought of that? How have you made it that funny? Like, what are you just doing? Oh, brilliant. I, I really love her. There's so many comics that I work with that I just think you are endlessly refreshing. But Zoe's probably top. Now, is your husband as lovely as he sounds? He is, and he's also a comedian, so I probably should have named him as my comedic inspiration. Hey, Beb, you're totally my inspiration. Um, but uh, he, he's, he's my... I, sometimes I, I, I always want to call him my rock, but he's not really a rock. He's more of, like, he's more of a mattress than a rock. He's, you know, fucking different. Like, like, like a bedrock? Yes! He is Fred Flintstone. No, he is lovely. This is fantastic news. So, where, where can people find you online if they want to follow your tours or just follow you? Uh, at Laura Lex on Twitter is a really good one. I have some kind of website, but it's some combination of Weebly, Laura Lex, something. It really doesn't come up if you Google it. Um, probably Twitter is the easiest. So I have one of those Facebook pages, but I forget about that a lot. So, give me a call. 
And uh, have you got any advice for anyone that wants to get into comedy? Don't do it. Don't do it. Or do it once you've already made enough money that you can eat off your own back. Um, and be very flexible to do that. Yeah. That's <laughs> difficult. And if you want to be in comedy, just do it. But just, but just keep doing it until somebody forcibly stops you. That's my advice because nobody knows what they're doing. We're all making it up as we go along, but just keep doing it. And uh, finally, have you got any uh, messages for your the audience at home, your your new fans, of course, watching the Sarah O'Connell show today? Oh, hey guys, <laughs> you're very nice and friendly. And that, that one's really nice. She's lovely. I like this one especially. Yeah. No, keep watching the Sarah O'Connell show. It's the best YouTube show, I've been told. <laughs> By me, but <laughs> it's probably <laughs> true. So I think it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you, watching your show, and um, I look forward to seeing your next tour. Thank you. Thanks very much. Nice to meet you too. Lovely to meet you too. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Please be sure to share, subscribe, follow Laura, of course, on Twitter and in life, and I'll see you all again soon for another episode of the Sarah O'Connell Show. Bye. We need to hold this for about 20 minutes <laughs> and then the credits just cascade down. It, ju it just says me, it just says me and then... We could, like slowly walk into the background so it looks could, like it's... Should, should we do like the end of The Incredible Hulk for people that understand that and it's like sad music and we could just walk this way. Da, 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 da. We just, we walk, but the, the microphone only goes to here so I have to put that down and then we go like this way. Oh, la, la, la. oh it goes oh, further. We've, we've untangled it, we can keep... And we just slowly begin to. Now it's gonna look like.